What's shaking, guys? It's DADB, NH guy. I just got back from uh, Lawrence in Lowell, Massachusetts. I went to the St. Vincent de Paul in both cities. Um, down in Lawrence, I spent $40.42. And in Lowell, I spent $25.28, guys. So let's get into this. Um, down in Lowell, found a few things. First up right here, guys, is a Garcia Project, Jerry Garcia 2018 Tour, The Days Between t-shirt. And I could do some more research on this, guys. I'm not sure what it's worth. It's not old, but um, might be worth a few bucks. So whenever I see Grateful Dead, I pick it up. So hopefully over 20 bucks for this. <clears throat> Next one, next shirt right here is going to be a little, uh, little bit of work. It's got a lot of stains on it. This is a Nike Team Syracuse Orange number ten basketball jersey. I'm not sure who number ten was, but um, there's some good sales on some of the jerseys, guys. And this is completely dirty. I'm going to soak this in OxyClean overnight. Before I wash it, and if it still has stains after I wash it, I'll hit it with the baking soda and the Dawn detergent, guys. So, I'm going to try to get this nice and clean. And um, that's a men's size medium. Nike Team. Hopefully I can get about $40 for that someday. Next up, it's a pretty common shirt right here. TNC Surf Designs Hawaii. Men's double-sided t-shirt. Two extra large. So it's a very good size, guys. And, um, yeah. This will eventually sell, hopefully, for over 20 bucks. This right here, I had to look up. I didn't know the brand, but there's um, some sold listings on this, guys. This is called a Lily Pulitzer. Viva Palm Beach Men's Vintage Made in Hong Kong Polo Shirt, two extra large. And um, I looked this up and there's some sold listings on this, guys. And this is in really good shape. Here's the tag. So, uh, yeah, not too shabby. It's in really good shape. Hopefully, I can get 25 to 30 bucks for this. Last up in Lowell was a really cool vintage shirt, guys. And um, I had to look this up, but I I do recognize it now. I, I was never into clothes, guys, before I started selling on eBay. But I, I remember this brand from back in the uh, day. This is a um, Varney France single stitch. Uh, made in the USA. Double-sided graphic t-shirt, guys. And... Um, this is from 1991, and I looked this up in line at the uh, St. Vincent de Paul, and these are selling for about 30 bucks. So nice little find right here. It's in really good shape. Might need a quick cleaning. I'll do a proper inspection on it, guys. Make sure there's no stains. But a uh, nice vintage, cool t-shirt right there, guys. So down in Lawrence, <clears throat> I found a few things. First up, I looked this up, and these are selling. This is called the Salty Dog. Dog Cafe Hilton Head Island. Double-sided sea turtle graphic t-shirt. Um, another good thing to look for is sea turtles, because it uh, seems like whenever I find a sea turtle life is good shirt, they always sell. And uh, this shirt is really, really soft, guys. So it's extra, two extra large. So a very good size. Pretty cool color. And I think this will sell. So I picked this up, guys. Hopefully over 20 bucks for that. This shirt I might be keeping for myself. This is a Nike T, Two extra large. Freaking market smart, guys. NBA Boston Celtics t-shirt and he's not on the team anymore and uh, 
He's on Memphis now, guys, but uh, I'm still a fan of Marcus Smart, even though he's not here anymore. So I'm going to look this up and see what it's worth. If it's worth a lot of money, I'll probably sell it. If not, I'll probably keep this for myself. Put it in my uh, collection of t-shirts. Next up, guys, taking a little gamble on this. Um, I see these shirts from time to time, but this one stood out. This is a Lowell Folk Festival Comfort Colors 2 Extra Large Banjo Music T-shirt. And, uh, yeah, very good size. And nothing crazy here, guys. Hopefully I'll get about 20 bucks of this someday. So I decided to pull the trigger on this, guys. Next, I have a Harley Davidson Boston, well, excuse me, sleeveless tank top muscle shirt. Ooh, this is new in tag, too. I didn't know that. The tag is cut in half, but I'm going to inspect it for, you know what? It's got some stains on the front. So I'm going to clean it and sell it used after I, I uh, take off the stains. There's a little stain on the back, too. So I'm going to sell this used. I'm going to wash it. I'm not going to dry it so it doesn't shrink. And hopefully someday I can get about 18 bucks for this, guys. Nothing crazy here, I think. Size large. Put that in the stain pile. <clears throat> Next up is another Celtic, guys. Ta uh, Time Lord, Robert Williams. Boston Celtics t-shirt. And uh, he's not on the team anymore. Two extra large. You know what? This <laughs> this is another shirt I might keep myself if it's not if it's not worth too much money, because this will fit me. But I'm gonna look it up, see what it's worth. Um, it's got a graphic on the sleeve. Boston Sports Apparel Company. So I'm gonna look this up, guys. If it's worth some money, maybe I'll sell it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it over there. And now, um, next up, I found another one of these t-shirts, guys. But this one's not, I don't think this one's as, as valuable as the other one, guys. Uh, this is another Splash Mountain graphic t-shirt. But it's not on a Disney tag. It's on a uh, Gildan tag, two extra large. So I'm going to do some research on this, guys. The graphic print has cracking on it. But this still might be worth some uh, good money. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do some research. Hopefully this is uh, going to be worth over 30 bucks. It's got stains on it. We're going to have to pre-treat this, guys. So, uh, yeah. Nice little find right there. Next up, nothing was... I found nothing like this on eBay. I did a quick Google search. This is some kind of skateboard tournament. It's called Volcom Stones Wild in the Parks 2011 Tour Skateboard Skeleton T-Shirt. And uh, I might put this on auction if it's something kind of rare. That is on a um, all-style tag. Not the best size, size small. But... um. Cool graphic prints. Whenever I see unique skateboard stuff, I like to pull the trigger on it. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to do some more research on this. Hopefully, that's worth more, worth, worth more than 25 bucks. Next is a nice little find. Vintage single stitch Baltimore football CFL Canadian Football League 1994, guys. Graphic t-shirt. And um, I'm going to do some research on this. I'm not sure what it's worth. But a pretty cool uh, shirt. I didn't know there was a Baltimore in Canada. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some research on this, guys. It looks like a Bronco or something. But, um, yeah, this might be a gem right here. We will see. Hopefully over 30 bucks for this. Second from last is a um, Bruce Springsteen 
Wrecking Ball Tour um, 2012, August, Foxborough Stadium, Massachusetts, double-sided graphic t-shirt. And, uh, yeah, this should be worth some money, guys. This should be worth at least 20 to 25 to 30 bucks. Really did do any research on it. But um, if somebody went to the show, they didn't get a shirt, now they can. And uh, it's missing the inside tag. It looks like an extra large. But nice little find right there, guys. And um, last up is the bread and butter Polo Ralph Lauren Custom Slim Fit Big Pony number three men's polo shirt. So it's got the big pony, it's got the number three on the sleeve, um, extra large. So this right here should be at least, I'm guessing, 25 to 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, guys, so nice little trip today down to Massachusetts. I'm glad I went down there and um, found some good stuff, guys. So. You guys enjoy your Sunday. I get tomorrow off from work, so I'll be spending the day working on eBay and riding the unicycle, guys. So thanks for watching my videos. I'm out the door. Peace.